Hi, I'm Paul Soga. Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 14th question from Digital SAT Test 2, Module 2. This is from the Blue Book app, the easier set of math questions. And number 14 reads, for the linear function f, the table shows three values of x and the corresponding values of f of x. Which equation defines f of x? So one thing, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So these two answer choices are gone right away. And then I think the easiest way to do it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can see that when you subtract here, you get 3. When you subtract here, you get 1. So your slope is going to be 3. Your answer is A. Here the slope is 35. And if 4y equals mx plus b, m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Okay, if you wrote it out, it'd look like this. We would label this um, y2, x2, y1, x1. And it'd be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then it'd be 32 minus 29 over 1 minus 0. And we get 3 over 1, which is just 3. Alternately, what you could do is a function. You could do a regression in Desmos. Uh, this is good for you to know, even if you don't do it for this question. And so when we head over to Desmos, you got, to do a regression, you've got to hit the plus in the upper left. You hit the table. And then all you have to do is put two coordinates in. So we'll put our 0, 29. We'll put our 132. And then instead of y equals mx b, you have to put y1. Instead of equals, you got to put the tilde. And you do that by shift. And in the upper left, just under the escape button, above the tab, you can find that tilde also with the keyboard. You could click Desmos keyboard, you click ABC, and you see the tilde to the bottom right over there. And then MX1 plus B. And notice it tells your M and B here. Your M, which is your slope, is 3. And your B, which is your y-intercept, is 29. Mark your answer accordingly, A, and move on. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty telling what an equation is working off of some coordinates. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ECT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our one minute video on TikTok. One more thing. You could have also plugged these coordinates in one at a time. If you plug zero in for X, you need to get 29 for your F of X. That would still eliminate these two. And then you plug one in for X, eliminate anything that doesn't give you 32. And that would eliminate that. Once again, your answer is A. See you tomorrow.